this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your WordPress website locally on your computer without having to buy your domain or hosting. And this is very important in case you're just testing the waters and you don't want to actually put in some money to get in your domain and hosting. You just want to have a private environment where you can practice stuff before you actually move them online. And without any further ado, let's dive right into the tutorial. So the software we're going to be using for this tutorial is called Zamp and it is free, it is popular. And that's what we're going to be using in this tutorial to set up our WordPress website locally on our computer. Now to download it, we're going to open a new tab. We're going to search for ZAMP. And we're just going to click on this first result here. Now we scroll down and you're going to download for the operating system you're using. For my own, we're going to click on Windows. And by the time you click on it, it's going to start the download automatically. Now I'm not going to be downloading this because I already have it on my system. Now let's move on to the next part which is downloading WordPress itself. Now to do that, we're just going to come to the search bar. I'm just going to type in WordPress.org directly. Now all you need to do is to scroll down and click on this Get WordPress. You can also use this button at the top here that says Get WordPress. And it's going to start the download of WordPress automatically for you. Now we've downloaded both WordPress and Jamf. Now it is time for us to install the softwares on our PC. Now to do that, I'm just going to open up my file explorer. I'm going to navigate to downloads and here I have it. I'm just going to click on ZAMP Windows and I'm going to just follow the prompt till the software starts installing on our PC. Now I'm just going to click OK and I'm going to click next, next, next till it starts installing. So the software is already installing. Now we're just going to wait for it to install and we can start building our website. So, we've successfully installed Zamp on our PC. Now, let's click on finish and um, it's supposed to come up immediately. Alright, so here we have it. This is the control panel for the application. Now, what we're going to do now is to click on start for Apache and also click on start for MySQL. Now, we have both of um, our Apache and MySQL module running on our PC. Now, what we need to do is to open a new tab I was just going to type in local hosts. We're going to type in local hosts forward slash php my admin. I'm going to click on enter. So what we're just going to be doing here is that we're going to be creating a database for our WordPress installation. Now to create that, we're going to come to this place and we're going to click on new. I'm going to give our database a name. Let's just give it tutorial. All right, and we're going to come here to click on create. Now our database has been created. Now let's ex um, extract the zip file for the WordPress that you downloaded into our htdocs in XAMPP folder. Now to do that, we're just going to come back to the file explorer and then we're going to locate WordPress. So this is WordPress right here. We just need to right click on it and we're going to extract to um, the folder. All right, so we have the folder here. Now we're just going to open it and here is all the um, WordPress folders um, that we need to run in the WordPress on our computer. Now we're just going to copy this folder and I'm going to come here to open this um, in a new window. So we'll open the file explorer in a new window. We're going to come to ZAMP and we're going to come to htdocs and this is where we're going to paste these um, WordPress folders, these WordPress files rather. Okay, so we successfully moved the folder to our htdocs section. Now we're going to come back to our browser and here we're going to type in localhost forward slash. We're going to type in localhost forward slash the folder for um, these are our WordPress websites, the folder name. So if you come back to htdocs, you can see right there we have it as WordPress. You can change this to anything you want. So we're just going to put in forward slash WordPress. I'm going to click on enter. Okay, so here we have it. We can just click on English and we're going to click on continue. Now we need to start installing WordPress on our PC. So you can read all this, but just follow my um my steps. Now let's click on let's go. So here under the database name, we're going to put in the name of the database that we created here, which is tutorial. So right here, I'm just going to come here to put in tutorial and my username is going to be roots. I'm just going to leave every other thing as it is. I'm going to come here to click on submit. And it says, all right, Sparky, you've made it through the part of the installation. WordPress can now communicate with your database if you're ready 
time to run the installation so we're going to click on this run the installation button so right here is where you can put in the basic information needed for your website although it's going to be on your pc only nobody's going to access this on the internet so for the size title we can just make it um tutorial websites and for the username we can use the wp bro and for the password this one does not really matter we just going to put in one two three four and um we're going to click on confirm use of weak password because this password is very weak and for email i'm just going to use support as the wpbureau.com and this one does not really matter too since this is not live on the internet and we're just going to click on install wordpress so wordpress has been installed it says thank you and enjoy now we're going to click on login and then we're just going to log in immediately and now we have a website running on our local server without actually connecting to the internet but it might actually be like oh you're still connected to the internet how are we going to know whether this um is actually working offline so here is what i'm going to do i'm going to disconnect from my wi-fi so i'm going to disconnect right now okay now i've been disconnected and let's try to see the available plugins on this website so we're just going to come here to click on plugins and this is going to load up for us because this is running on our computer only as you can see we have it right here this is working and this is how you can just play around on wordpress create several websites you might want to create you can create unlimited websites with this um software right here so when you're ready you can just move your website from this local state to a live server and my next tutorial i'm going to be showing you how you can do this and if i've uploaded the tutorial by now and by the time you're watching this video you can just click the card above i'm very sure i'm going to add the tutorial there or on the end screen on the video on the ending of this video so thank you for watching this is how you can install wordpress on your local computer and use it to build a test project before actually moving it online if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like it really helps the algorithm comment on anything you might i might have missed in the tutorial or something that you don't understand and i'm going to respond to you and also you can share this video to whatever needs it and lastly don't forget to subscribe to the channel it's really going to motivate me a lot to creating more content for you guys. Thank you for watching and I'm going to see you guys in my next video.